And so Pao Lao not a guaranteed kill, but Pagon wants to scrap with Paul and wow. Pink. Able to throw up the Rivers Rebuke though, and he gets out. The Pao Lao, the CC, wow. it's simply too much from the Jade Dragons. The Titans unable to finish off the kill onto Mike, but Layers may be able to fix that. Anvil of Dawn, no good. Defender of Olympus makes its way in, but Sot now alone in the mid lane. The Jade Dragons, this is unbelievable, rallying. The kill Panda Cat, he can stall for quite some time with his ult. ult He's got to go up. Here comes Mike. It's going to take a while for him to get here, though. Panda Cat should die. One last auto from Layers does get it done, and it's fine. Okay, that means Gold Fury started up by the Jade Dragons. Aurora would love the Stygian Torment to set up a kill. Fantastic Rivers Rebuke. Where's the Anvil of Dawn? Going to go down from fine. Okay. On to two, and that set up a great fight, but Paul starting to spin up the wheels a bit. And now he's got to run stage right out of this engagement. It's not bad from the Tartarus Titans. They found three, but suddenly they've dropped two. Panda Cat's still in it, but it's all down to fine, okay? As the Titans, a little bit more. The Hammer could even try and no, come back up here, but through. I think he's finally going to be caught down. Massive answer. Cat, but look at the J Dragons. They're just headed to Pyromancer. They realize Panda Cat, unsavable at this point. Paul is Non-hidden Thor favorite. All right, Pagon gets another solo, presumably onto Paul. Aurora's on the way, though. Aurora is closing the gap. Minions cleared, no layers way. close. Blink oh. and stop the back. Pagon unable to make it out, and that was really his only option. <laughs> look, look at his player <laughs> cam. Player cam. He's just oh, no, but he's gonna finally get into the fight. Look, he's already on it. It's miraculous from SOT, as in the back line, fine, okay, 1v1-ing Stewart. Pagon has traded out with layers, and Paul over on the other side of the fight. This is what the Jade Dragons have been looking for, but the Titans want to spoil the party, and it's SOT and Aurora with a chance to do so. A double stun, though, from the rest of the Jade Dragons means fine, okay, can rejoin the fight. And Aurora left running. Full DS side once Aurora falls down. It's going to take a bit, but there's no way that Aurora runs away for this long. I just want Panda Cat to finally catch up and hit those minions, but it looks like Final K Joink. will get the That's last three. credit. Into the face of Layers, who will wall. gallop away. Double stun, doesn't hit, neither does the wall. And now Final K and Scream got to get back into the rest of the fight. That's still looking great for the Jade Dragons. The Titans, even in an odd-numbered fight in the rest of the jungle, haven't been able to get anything done. Sot will drop. Aurora could be the target, though. That's a stun from Polar Bear Mike and good damage out of Pagon. Scream. Eyes for the back line. My goodness, damage from Panda Cat. Seals Stewart's fate. Then as much as possible. Or Scream not. already goes in and SOT takes a little bit of damage, but here comes Final K. Yeah, I wonder who Final K is looking for here. Is it SOT? No, because Pagon's already gotten the kill. Paul ends up walking into the Anvil of Dawn. His target priority from Final K has been near perfect this game. Double tap onto Stewart and Aurora left alone. Stygian and Torment, as good as it may be, will not secure your safety. The Jade Dragons with a ridiculous composition steamroll the Tartarus Titans in game number one. Final ends on a rampage. Pagon ends on a triple. And Jade... Kraken's going to net a kill, but who's it going to be? It Hello. looks like the Ares is the call. It's on to a roar, and there's plenty of damage. Scream. For that fight, <laughs> made no difference. Scream still kills Ares. And look, you can tell Aurora's... Oh, hold that thought. No time to talk. Oh, it's Pagon who's over here on to a roar now. Wild Hunt. Oh, no, the Ares. There he's not going to be too tanky. It's also... Hold that thought. Layers yep. comes through, gets the kill on the Scream with help from Sot. Just with the beads. Layers going for a similar play. It's the same exact play. Kraken down. Defender of Olympus in. But Scream, he's got help this time. Pagon and Mike answer the call. And speed buff not even stolen away. Sot goes back in thinking he had enough damage. And he might have. But the Jade Dragons... Uh, Pagon was there as well. Now Aurora is going to blink in with some follow-up from Paul. They're looking for Pagon. Yeah, but is Pagon going to go down? He sure will. Paul with a double skewer. And then the double wild hunt from Panda Cat on the rotation in, but that's all the mana that Panda Cat has. It's simply auto attacks here. Mike's got to use the beads. But Scream walking forward, doesn't have Kraken. One last auto will get it, and Panda hits it. Ends up being a one for one on the second engage, unless Paul can get some more. I think Scream wanted to take that fight right after the skewer missed. Over from solo lane, a pullback in, but doesn't slow down Pagon enough. Jump in from layers and brutalize. That'll be a kill back for the Titans. And Mike's been left alone with the Ragnarok. That's an important counter gank from the Tartarus Titans, and one that pays off in a two for one. Minutia of this gold lead can build up, but Panda Cat unhappy. Gone. 
with what's happening here. Though the wild hunt was good, the damage from the Titans simply better, and it's continuing. Pagon has gone in for some reason. The Titans happy to see it. And a Kraken down onto layers, chunks the damage. Fine, okay, he's got the last bit. Stun from Stewart needed because Scream left running out of the back of the fight. But Fine okay has got Bat Out of Hell to chase down these low health targets. The Jade Dragons might be able to fight back in right now, down in numbers, but they'll equalize the fight at a three for three. Do not scratch your eyes. It's 16 and a half minutes for the Jade Dragons. All five get FG. A roar will be chased down, and the onslaught continues. I mean, Stewart's still over on the left side of the map. I imagine the Jade Dragon's just fine trying to chase this one down. Beautiful blink in from Fine. Okay, the Whirlpool traps it, Sot. It is comically fast. I'm pretty sure it's Billy today. Oh, is it Billy today? It's Billy today. <laughs> appreciate you, Billy, for covering <laughs> that for us. And appreciate Paul for making this Phoenix defense a bit more interesting. Massive pull from a roar. Gets two, but also takes a couple beads away. Oh. And what is this? It's life from the Titans, but Fine OK wants to snuff it out underneath the Phoenix and might be able to do so, but no, Stewart has turned it around. The J Dragons have been blanked in this Phoenix Siege. Panda Cat will be able to make it back to base, but the Titans fight outside of their Phoenix and catch the Dragons off guard. You gotta imagine that that one feels pretty bad here for the J Dragons. They felt so confident. And then also a double pull. Scream's in some trouble. Scream nearly one shot's layers to do that again and does, but SOT gets picked up and he's forced to beat. That's right, actually gets pulled out of the taunt. So Mike maintains his bubble. Stewart walks away, oh no, oh! Paul! He's done it again, Paul is taking this game over. But now it's Panda Cat's chance. The damage back in from Panda and Fine OK might be too much, but Stu, Stu has stood strong. Stu's got three and Stu's on a rampage. It's unreal from the Titans AD carry. What a brawl. Stewart's close by. I don't imagine he wants to fight this for too long, because here he comes. He does not have that out of hell. Oh, and he might not have a chance to live. A, a sneaky gank before being reset. Pagon jumped at by Paul, but Paul won't get caught out. Could be a big ultimate from Aurora. Bat out of hell used from fine. Okay, Sot has been crackened, but Scream has been pulled and answer back from the Tartarus Titans, and here's a Ragnarok from Layers, but there's no answer. The Jade Dragons were so grouped. Panic I'll be able to defend, but here it is. Here we go. It's Scream with the Kraken in mid, but Scream gets less than nothing. He hits air with the Kraken. The left side Phoenix is gone. Mid lane Phoenix may follow, but the Titans more concerned about the fight. They've lost Paul, but Scream and Pagon also both dead. SOT low, mid lane bird crumbles to ashes. Three Phoenixes down, type comeback from the Dragons. Will they even get a chance though? Aurora wants to keep things going. Big stun from Stewart, but Mike continuing to walk forward. It's Aurora who's dead instead. Suddenly the Jade Dragons may be realizing this is their chance. Your three Phoenixes down. He already ulted. Five before, but Final K is so low. Paul is just gonna equalize the kill total. It's a Kraken on the Sot though. And that's giving the Jade Dragons an advantage right back. Polyprox onto the left side. Oh no, it's a disastrous start for the Dragons. Layers is killed off Pagon in the mid lane. And Fine OK may be soon to follow. Fine OK will live. It's a pull from Mike back in. No bat out of hell, but beads for Fino. Mike pulled into the front line. Kraken deletes Sot in trade. And it's actually mid and left Phoenix. And mid, can they get a kill onto Paul? It's a he Kraken, the Kraken that misses. And it's Paul that never misses. SOT has jumped in. The Titans will win their scrap in mid, and that might just end the game. Now, the oh, fight is so split. Pagon going down to Stewart. It's just Panic Cat, and Layers was hiding. He's going to delete him. Fine, okay, you're up next. Unfortunate. Bad out of hell could stall out for a bit, but that Titan's already dying to fire minions. Nah, the Titan's going to die to the minions anyway. The J Dragons pull a massive lead in game two, but it melts away. Paul, Stewart, and the Titans come up big. Send us to a game three and keep their second seed hopes alive. Nine and two for Paul and nine and zero oh for Stewart. No one could kill that Ishtar. And I got to give credit to Sot and Aurora. I mean, it's just not that easy to be able to engage in these late game fights. But having a, a you might need to be defensive with it. I'll give you a second to think about it, Trelly, because it's Aurora and the Shards of Ice that has done pretty good damage to Scream and Mike. Chains maybe just for damage, and it's Scream for first blood. Stuart though wants to chase down Mike. May secure his escape, but Scream has now gone back in. So is Pagon. 
Lots of damage onto Aurora. A dash in from Pagon, who's transformed into Daji. World Weaver completes the kill. And that means Pagon can use his ult to get the Borsley Force, Stuart. He does. So he's going to go in once no. again. Oh, no. Stu won't even get the stun on the scream. Neither ADC shies away from 1v1s, but Stuart feeling a bit better because his jungler is here. It's a World Weaver on the layers. Pagon nearly saves his ADC, but Panacat will drop. But it could end up being a two for one if Mike can find the stun, find the kill. And it's Scream on five. Let's have the opposite mindset. Not here, not in this game three. They want to comes SOT, but Final K's on the way oh, as well. Oh no, this could be a big one for the J Dragons. Pagon will knock down Aurora. A bit of pressure as the World Weaver from Pandacat makes its way in. Aurora under threat of his fourth death of the game. Gotta be here with five J Dragons on the left side of the jungle. Pyromancer though, in theory, to the Titans, and it is, but oh no. Oh no, this is bad news for the Titans. They've already lost layers. Aurora left running. Owen oh, 5 now on the Ymir. The Dragons happy to take a fight like that. Lose the Pyro. Fine, okay, Mike. The rest of the Dragons with their lead will envelop Aurora, who on the other side of the Shard device will be stunned, killed, dropped by Pagon. Owen oh, 6 now on the Ymir. Layers actually nearly turned the fight around. Paul has gotten one. The second kill of the game for the Titans on a 19-minute Phoenix Siege from the Jade Dragons. Just now, Descent into Madness comes out from Fine OK, but should be defensive. T does not have the ultimate, but they don't even care about SOT I for see now. What, I want to see what Aurora's death timer is at the end of this. He's level 13. 21, 20. unfortunately gets caught out. Yeah, is he going to go for the 1v1 versus PBM so <laughs> far? Looks relatively even. I want Scream to just let him fight, but it doesn't look like Scream cares for that. No, Stuart returns some good damage, actually. Nearly got a kill on the Mike. Now Mike, tanky, healthy enough. It's all right, we've got a second, says Pagon. He'll transform into the Cthulhu, and the rest of the damage follows. Scream, with his 10th of the game, drops Stuart for the fifth time this game. But the Titans still have damage. Has it been too much? Have the Dragons done too much? No, the Phoenix drops anyway. And now Panda Cat can continue to walk in, but the Titans have stood strong. The Titans, Dajis, or one Cthulhu at a time, but now might be our chance. Final K, Final K's gone. Oh no, he's been stunned, but not killed on his way into the fight. Oh no, the Titans doing it again. The Titans have found a kill onto the first target, but Scream still alive in the back line. Will clean up layers. It's Scream dancing around behind the wall now. A great knockup from Pagon. Cthulhu number two, doing it better than number one in this fight. Another for Pagon, another for Scream with a double. Well, with the Titan, he can't even finish these minions. Yeah, Jay Dragons, they're gonna look to end game number three here. This is a mercy ending, as the Titans have not had a leg to stand on all game long. The Titans will have to settle for top six. The Jay Dragons eliminate one more team from top two contention, and they do it convincingly. Is that 13 and one for Scream? What a performance in this last game.